Every living thing needs food to live and grow. Animals spend much of their time getting their food. There are many different kinds of food for animals, and they find it in all sorts of places. On land. We all know how important a mouth is. This tricolour heron catches fish with its long pointed bill. A bird's bony bill helps it to catch and hold its food and to crush and swallow it. Even though some animals do not have big teeth, they are well equipped for eating the food they live upon. Some insects have hard mouth parts too. This potato beetle is a garden pest that eats potato plants. The potato beetle and this other insect pest open and close their mouths sideways instead of up and down like the birds do. But some animals do have teeth in their mouths like we have. The kind of teeth which an animal has helps to determine the kinds of food it lives upon. The lion is a meat eater and needs long sharp teeth for killing large animals and tearing up the meat. The lion also uses its sharp claws to help catch and hold its food. In contrast, cows are plant eaters. Plant eaters have sharp teeth which help them to bite off their food. They also have flat teeth which are useful for grinding food. A cow has lower biting teeth, but no upper ones. A tough upper gum and her strong tongue and lips help her to tear off the grass which she swallows without chewing and stores in a part of her stomach. Later, she brings up a little of the food and chews it thoroughly with the flat grinding teeth which are in the back of her mouth. This is called chewing the cud. She swallows the cud and brings up some more to chew on. Teeth, lips, gums and tongue are the cow's eating tools. Many animals also use their tongues in drinking. Butterflies have a special kind of tongue. This tongue is a long sucking tube through which the butterfly drinks the nectar of flowers, similar to the method we use to drink with a straw. Without wings and legs, this fish hawk could never catch a fish. See how the hawk uses its sharp curved beak to tear the fish to pieces. And notice how its sharp claws, or talons, hold the fish firmly as the hawk tears it apart. The macaw also uses its talons for holding on to its food. It has a curved beak which is even stronger than the fish hawks. It can crack the hard shells of nuts. The beautiful flamingo feeds with its head upside down in the water. Some birds that feed in water have long legs for wading. Their long necks enable them to reach down and get their food from the water. By moving its feet about in the water, the flamingo frightens small water animals from their hiding places and catches them with its strangely shaped bill. The nose of a hog is another good eating tool. The end of a hog's nose is a flat, hard disc. With it, the hog can dig up the ground in search of roots of plants which it eats. That is why we say a hog is rooting when it is digging up the ground with its nose. The elephant, too, has a useful nose, which we call its trunk. It's always fun at the zoo to watch how the elephants pick up their food and put it in their mouths with their trunks. And it's fun, too, to see how they can drink water or give themselves a mouthwash by sucking water into their trunks 
and blowing it into their mouths. Some animals hold their food with their forepaws. A squirrel's legs are not only nimble in climbing, jumping and running among the branches of trees, but its forepaws are very useful in holding on to a nut, so its sharp cutting teeth can break up the hard shell to get at the tasty meat. This chimpanzee is an expert at using its hands. Look how well it can hold and peel a banana. And with those same paws and its strong legs, it can quickly climb any tree in the wilds in search of food or to find safety. <laughs>